Inscriptions. What are they? What do they do? Why do we need them? All good questions. Inscriptions, essentially perks, are randomly distributed perks with some naturally being better suited than others. If you look at Destiny or The Division, there are random perks on armor and weapons ranging from Rampage, Kill Clip, Outlaw, and Crit Chance, Crit Damage, Enemy Armor Damage respectively. Every game has a pool of perks that will have key perks that are desirable on certain equipment that you will want on your weapons to maximize performance and damage. Random rolls has been a thing for quite some time and in a game like Anthem, Destiny and The Division, it's an essential part of the game to maintain the longevity and grind of any successful loot shooter. Generally, we know what the perks do and if we don't, the game has a tooltip to help us. Well, sadly this isn't a thing in Anthem just yet and some awesome people over at the subreddit, in particular False Demise, has compiled a full list for us. So in this video I intend to go through each section and inscription within each section and also go over how valuable each inscription is. The inscriptions have two modes of function. They either have a javelin icon or a gear icon. The javelin icon applies to the player across the board. Gear icons apply only to the gear that the inscription is actually on. So if you have ammo plus 50% on the javelin, it applies to everything you've got equipped. If you have it on a piece of equipment with a gear icon, it will only apply to that specific weapon or that specific item. Of course, some of these overlap and can be either javelin or gear inscriptions. By the time we are done here, you should be in a good place to understand what each inscription does, its value, and whether or not it's something you should be chasing for your builds. So what you're seeing on screen right now is the glossary of what everything will be based on. Impact, which is single target damage. Blast is an AoE damage. Fire, elemental, damage over time. Ice is elemental, freezes enemies, usually high status effect. Thunder again is elemental, it builds up and then the damage is spread to all nearby enemies. Acid is physical and reduces resistance. Melee is physical, affects both your melee attack and melee skills. Guns naturally are physical, mostly impact damage, but grenades do blast damage. So guns will be single target damage, whereas grenades will be AoE damage. Now that we know these, we can go through the inscriptions with a better and broader understanding. So first we start with inscriptions that increase the drop rates. We have ammo plus percentage, which is basically more ammo. Repair plus percentage is more health kits, and supply plus percentage is more items or ember. So these are pretty much simple to understand. Then we go to the drop quality. We have ammo plus percentage pickup amount, which basically means more ammo per drop. Repair plus percentage amount, more health per drop. Support plus percentage luck, chance for better items per drop. Effects, embers. So this one here is the first decent one that you want to have. I do know that if you get 100% luck, I believe it is, don't quote me on this, but there is a certain threshold that if you actually exceed that threshold or meet it, your luck drops to zero. It is a bug, it is being worked on. However, the higher your luck, the better your chances are getting some. So if you're out farming or doing something like this, having a build for farming will definitely be beneficial. So this one's actually a good one. Plus percentage harvest bonus. You basically collect more crafting materials and embers. So that pretty much covers drop rates and drop quality. So next we move to the bigger one, one that affects the javelin stats. Plus percentage pickup radius increases the distance you will pick up items that are dropped. It's okay, but nothing special, not one that you really want to go for. Plus percentage thruster life increases how long you can fly before overheating. This is currently broken at the moment, however, it will extend the duration that you can fly before you overheat and drop. This is actually a pretty cool one and one that you may consider picking up. This pairs up really nicely with the next one. Plus percentage thruster speed. Increase how fast your jets cool down. This is pretty awesome and works really really nice with the thruster life. So Thruster Life gives you an increased duration. Thruster Speed on the other hand, increases the speed on how fast your jets cool down. And finally, you have Overheat plus or minus percentage delay, which reduces the time it takes to start recovering from overheating, which again works nicely with the two mentioned above. Elemental plus resistance, reduces damage taken from attacks of that element, pretty simple. Armor plus damage resistance, increases resistance to physical damage. Armor percentage max increases your green bar, whereas shield percentage max increases your blue bar. Shield percentage bar delay, as you can imagine, reduces the time it takes to start recovering your shield. 
shield plus or minus refresh how quickly your shield recharges once it starts recovering. So the higher the percentage, the faster the recovery, the lower the percentage, the lower the recovery. So those were all nice quality of life stuff that you can get on your javelin. But we now move on to weapons, which is where the fun begins. So augments on weapons. Weapon plus damage. This one is pretty simple. It's the damage output. I've seen pictures with around 250% additional damage. So it's pretty insane. You have weapon plus percentage clip or weapon plus percentage mag size. Both of these essentially are exactly the same. They are magazine size. The difference being clip has a javelin icon. So it applies to everything across the board that you've got equipped. Mag size has a gear icon, which basically means that it applies to the gear itself and the gear only. Weapon percentage plus ammo is your ammo reserves. Weapon plus percentage fire rate increases the rate of fire. As you can imagine, weapon minus percentage reload time reduces the reload speed. Then you've got weapon plus percentage blast damage, which is basically explosive damage like grenade launchers. Weapon type plus percentage damage is basically the listed weapon type. So you'll notice on certain weapons, you'll have LMG plus 10% damage. That's basically what this one is. Next, we move on to skills. You have keybind plus percentage damage, which basically increases the listed skill damage. So if you have firewall mortar on L1, it's essentially keybind L1 firewall mortar plus 10% damage. That is all this is. It's not a specific damage for a specific item, but it's to the specific keybind, which makes it even more desirable because you can put any item there that can actually work and it will instantly gain a damage buff. You've got gear plus damage, which increases skill damage. You've got keybind percentage plus speed, which reduces the listed skill cooldown. Again, because it's a keybind, it's either going to be your L1 or R1. And because of this, it's a desirable skill because it works universally across the board with whichever skill you apply to those two buttons. Gear plus percentage speed reduces the skill cooldown. As you can see here, for both speed and damage, you've got both the keybind and the gear. The gear is specific to the gear itself. However, the keybind will work on any skill that's attached to that keybind and give you the same result. So ultimately, you want to go for the keybind over the actual gear. Next, we move over to combat inscriptions. We have ultimate plus percentage damage, which increases the ultimate skill damage. Pretty self-explanatory. We have ultimate plus percentage speed, which reduces the ultimate skill cooldown. You have melee plus percentage damage, which increases the melee attack skill damage. You have combo plus percentage damage, which increases the combo damage. Again, these are really self-explained. Next, you have combo plus percentage targets, which, which basically means detonating primed enemies chains to additional enemies, much like the Colossus does when it combos. This is a pretty awesome one, and I'm assuming will be a Colossus exclusive perk. But as of right now, considering you can get any perk, it's a solid perk. Critical plus percentage damage. This increases the critical damage, essentially the weak point damage. Support plus percentage speed reduces the support skill cooldown. Elemental plus damage, a really good one for storms, increases elemental skills, procs and weapon damage. You have the raw plus percentage damage increase, which is all damage increased. You have raw plus percentage force, which reduces damage required to cause a stagger effect. This can be really useful in the higher GMs because if you stagger an enemy, it means they're not shooting at you. Effect plus minus percentage increases all status effects applied to enemies. Statuses that do not prime enemies instantly will prime them quicker. So this essentially helps you prime targets. Again, this will be really effective later on in the GM 2 and 3 and will allow you to prime targets that bit easier. Element plus percentage effect increases all status effects applied to enemies from listed element. So if the listed element is fire, fire plus 20% effect increases all status effects applied to enemies from fire element. That's pretty much how it would read. And finally, we have class specific inscriptions. You have the storm combo augment which increases the number of combo chains by two and then you have combo plus percentage aura effect which increases the damage that the interceptor aura pulses for however this is also verified to be broken much like many of these skills 
But that is every inscription so far broken down in an easy to understand form for you to be able to digest. And now you should be in a good position to be able to look at a perk and say, yes, I understand that perk. And if you don't, you can always go back to the point in the video and look at the on-screen prompts as I listed every single skill out. But this video here should put you in the right place you need to be in in order to understand each inscription, what they do, how they function, what they function for, and how they can benefit you. Right, with that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and until the next video, Remain Legend.